Hey everybody, this is Clay with Beyond Survival 52, and today we're going to be looking at my personal first aid kit and how to build one yourself. So personally, I think a first aid kit first starts off with the right container. Now the one I have is a nice waterproof container. I put a little paracord lanyard in, we'll talk about it a second, we'll talk about this duct tape in just a second too. But what I have is a really nice waterproof container. You can see by this o-ring right there, if you can see that, that black part on the blue. And overall, it's really slim and really thin. I mean, it's thinner than my finger, so it's really easy to carry this. And I think that it's really important to have a waterproof and easy to carry container because, as you can see, a lot of these products have paper on them or, or the product itself is made of paper or a paper-like material so I think it's really important to have a waterproof container but if you don't have that the next best thing is like a, a container that can close very easily maybe you can put some duct tape around like an Altoids tin or even just a Ziploc bag will do a pretty good job next we're going to talk about why I have this paracord lanyard on there besides the fact that I can easily have it around my wrist open it be doing stuff with my right hand and holding it with my left hand very easily and not worry about dropping it all is it can be paired up with this needle that I have in the kit and this is paracord so it has the inner strands so I could actually suture somebody up with that with the paracord and the needles and I've actually had training to do that with wilderness first aid I think training is one of the key components of actually having a first aid kit with you because let's say I go to Walmart and I buy a first aid kit and somebody gets hurt out in the woods I might not know what to do so with the proper training you should be able to tackle just about any health concern or first aid response you need to do out in the woods with very good training back to the container I have a little bit of duct tape on here there's two reasons it's just to help the container out itself you know structurally because this is kind of a cheap container so I have it there for that reason secondly I can cut this into strips and make a butterfly closure strip and help secure a larger wound if I run out of the ones I already have in my kit next we're gonna be going on to the other tool in my kit which is a really nice pair of tweezers these are pretty high quality, they're very sharp, and they'll really get anything you go after. And I've had a lot of experience using one of these because actually when I was in Colorado, I happened to stumble into a cactus and had somebody pull out all of my prickles that I had in my arm with this, and it only took two hours. How fun. Moving on. I think bandages are probably one of your most used items and should be one of your largest amounts in your kit. So right we, here we have a really large bandage that's going to be able to take those larger wounds and really seal them up against any affection or any dirt, grime, or anything out in the woods. So it's going to help protect you that way. I also have six different size bandages here as you can kind of see on the camera. And that's good for your small to medium cuts. They'll really just protect them overall. Next, as I'm just going to file these up a little bit, we have four really small bandages. And those are really going to be good for your puncture wounds. So let's say I was walking barefoot from my tent because I had to go use the restroom. And I step on something and now I have a puncture wound. I can seal it up with that and stop the bleeding and help protect it from infection. Next we have butterfly closure strips that will really help us out with a larger cut. And those are like less, not permanent stitches and they'll really just help you out. They're very high quality and they'll really stop bleeding and secure a larger wound in the field. Next we have antibiotic ointment. I have two little containers there, little packages. And those are good for whether it's a burn and you can help stop infection and clean out the wound there or it can be used for other wounds with like you can put it on a band-aid and then cover up a wound so they have it's a really high functioning 
multi-use product like I'm using it in a lot of different ways next I have 10 q-tips in a little baggie this can be used for anything from cleaning out a wound or applying this antibiotic ointment on a wound or on a band-aid without directly touching it it has a lot of different uses and can be used in a lot of different ways in the woods with first aid next we have alcoholic prep pads now this really is going to clean out your bigger wounds or even your smaller wounds and it's going to do a very good job against infection and overall getting the dirt out and the grime to minimize that so this has been my personal first aid kit I really hope this drives you to make your own because they are super important with any outdoor activity or even going around town you might be put in a scenario where you get in a car crash and might need to use this so please consider this has been clay with beyond survival 52 if you like this video hit the button down below and please subscribe